I don't care. It's one nil. We're fucking down. Thirteenth in the championship. The takeover happened, as I said it would. People will be. Oh, when when have we got leads? Now then, people, and welcome back to the Just Your Football Show, and it is time for your Leeds versus Preston pre-match chat. Of course, revenge is in the air, not just for Leeds United, but for Archie Gray against Liam Miller. Because I know there's a lot of Leeds fans out there that might doubt this kid at right back. I'm not one of them, and I think he will uh, come with a vengeance, uh, ready to keep Liam Miller quiet, and more importantly, Leeds keeping Preston quiet and quite confident going into this game. They're not great away from home. We're still the only team in the division that's not been beaten at Ellen Road yet, which, again, is a massive positive. Unfortunately, just been watching Southampton versus Swansea. Swansea were absolutely gash, or were Southampton just that good? We have to win. We must win. Um, we cannot afford to give them a seven-point gap. Uh, Ipswich have already got that. Of course, they play uh, Leicester on Monday night, speaking to Locks. He thinks Leicester might lose. They're without Ndidi, Keenan Dewsbury Hall, Kazadei's being sent back. It ain't looking good. And it's the longer the weeks go, the less I'm confident. And it might be just because I've watched Southampton put on a demolition job against Swansea. But yeah, uh, you know, I get giddy when Leeds United win. And I do think Leeds United will win this game. But those above us just don't seem to be chilling out. They need to calm, calm. But listen. We're here to talk about, of course, Preston versus Leeds United. In terms of Leeds United, I'm expecting the exact same lineup that we've seen uh, last time out when we beat Cardiff 3-0. For me, you don't change a winning formula, one that did so well away from home on what would be considered normally a good side, but we made them look ordinary. You know, this is a team that was in ninth, not too far away from the playoffs, and we made them look like they were a couple of divisions below. I'd keep the same lineup as well, just because Cooper's, yeah, has trained all week. Strauss still out, though, and will be out for the rest of this month, I imagine. But I don't throw Cooper straight back in because Ilya Gruyev did an absolute demolition job in midfield, and his passing was crisp, it was accurate. 97% pass accuracy, as my good friend Ollie Ward said, almost Sergio Busquets esque. Ampadu did not look out of place at centre back. We know he's played there on a number of occasions for a number of sides, does it at international level as well. So he's more than capable of partnering Rodon uh, in centre back. Furpo keeps his place for me. Byram again has trained all week and he's fit, but I still think he goes with Furpo just because of the increase in performance we've seen from him. And thankfully, unlike normally, that dead leg literally was just it. He isn't out for six months as we're used to in the past. You know my man at right back, of course, it's Archie Gray. Goalkeeper, Ilya Melier, again, he owes us retribution for getting that stupid red card he did away at Preston when they did beat us on Boxing Day. So in midfield, you have Kamara and Gruyev, and then the front four just picks itself at the moment. Bamford's in hot form. James can do no wrong, really. Somerville, again, is arguably, or if not statistically the best winger in the league and then Rutter is phenomenal you know for me yeah what this guy does if he could finish on a more regular basis you're looking at a future 100 million pound player I don't think it's that wild to say and if we get anywhere close to the levels we've seen in the last three games more specifically you know Cardiff it was it was a professional performance if we can do that again put a clinic on at home I'm expecting us to put Preston to the sword if I'm honest I'm expecting at least three people just know, me saying that has no bearing on the result whatsoever, but I have every confidence in this side at Ellen Road against the poor Preston side. No, I can hear you now saying, but Joe, they beat us. We were shite that day. Let's be real. Um, they shouldn't have beat us. I think if you look at their results, it's like red, 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 green. Red, red, red. It's the Leeds United way, but at Ellen Road, different kettle of fish. We've won nine and drawn four. We remain the only side unbeaten at home this season. And if we actually remain unbeaten tomorrow at Ellen Road, it'll be the first time since 2009-10 since we've gone 14 games undefeated at home. And you have to go right back to 2010-11 since Preston last won a game at Ellen Road. They don't have a great record here. They're really poor away from home currently as well, having lost six of the last nine. And there's certain sections of the Preston fan base that want Ryan Lowe gone. 
you know. Um, in terms of how they will come and play, it will nowhere near be as open as it was at Deepdale. They will come to sit in. I was listening to a Preston fan speak this week and fully expects a low block and look to try and counter us with Liam Miller and the other pacey attackers that Preston boast. We've seen of late teams that want to try and play that way. And again, it is a little bit of recency bias, but with Bamford in there, he's a lot more mobile. He makes sure centre-backs are constantly having to check the mirrors to see where he is, which then allows others to play. So if they want to come in and get a low block, if we can get an early goal like we did against Cardiff, then we'll be totally fine. The longer it stays nil-nil, the more chances they have. They've got Liam Miller, as we've seen, a decent player on his day. They've got decent set-piece takers as well. So we need to ensure that we don't fall into that rut of just left to right, sideways passes, slow, methodical. You know, it needs to be fast-paced. We need to see movement from the front men. And if we can get an early goal, then, as I say, I think we win this game comfortably. Of course, I've waxed lyrical recently on Gruyev, on the impact Bamford has as well, but we can't forget Somerville. Eight of his 12 goals this season have come at Ellen Road, and he scored in four of the last games. He had a poor game last time out against Cardiff and ended up with, like, two assists. The guy's phenomenal, so we need him to be on it, and I expect him to be on it. Of course, we all know about Liam Miller on the other side, but I just want a special mention to Alan Brown as well. Alan Brown, the captain at Preston, he may have a knock, but he has a decent goal-scoring record against Leeds United, having scored in his last two appearances against us, so he's one to look out for. Outside of that, I just don't expect Preston to offer much at Ellen Road. They will sit in, they will be compact, they will try and defend resolutely, but I just think Leeds United are hitting form now. It's just so disappointing that those above us are doing exactly the same. We must win. We have to win because the more games that we continue to drop points, the less chance we have of top two. Some have already written it off. There's still a long way to go, but you just don't want to be in a case with like five, ten games left where you're like going, well, it's playoffs. You know, you just then slowly winding down waiting for the playoffs to start it'd just be such a boring end to the season especially when you consider that Leeds United do play Southampton at home on the final day uh, so hopefully Leeds United can get a win I'm going for another 3-0 win with a Patrick Bamford first goal I just think at home we're a different beast and as long as we can get some consistency away from home as well then I think we'll be good but like I say we've now got three home games on the spin and I'm expecting you know, six points out of Norwich and Preston, and then we beat Plymouth in the Cup as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening, and I'll see you nice, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed at 11.30 in the morning for the watch-along. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Leeds, Leeds, Leeds. I don't care. Do it's one nil. No, do it it down. Do it 13th in the do championship. The takeover happened, as I said it would. People will be... Oh, when, when have we got Leeds? <laughs>